So yesterday, The Sims team surprise dropped an update to story progression in The Sims 4, and it is huge. I've been like dreaming about something like this since the game first came out. I am so excited to show you. Also, Sims team, did you really have to drop this yesterday while I was on a plane? Because I think you're out to get me. I hate to say it, but I did a panel about charity streams at South by Southwest. I was literally on a panel with the CEO of St. Jude on Monday. While I'm in the panel, they announce a kit. Next day, I'm flying home, literally as I am born the plane, this article comes out. I tweeted, I am literally on a plane and you choose now to give us story progression. They reply, wishing you the safest travels, angel emoji. You're mocking me. They're mocking me. I swear, they're like waiting for this. It keeps happening. Anyway, so the update is already out. It came out yesterday. They like dropped it all at once. This is the article about it. I think I'm gonna read this in a second. I first want to get a new save going and like start running it. I'll just make a random sim here. And then that way, while I read the article, hopefully some things will happen in my game. That's the idea. Let me get a random house. Yes, sure, that's fine. You stay there. <laughs> I'm going to manage worlds. So the way this works now is in manage households, we've got neighborhood stories. Neighborhood stories enable households you don't actively play to experience life changes. This includes pregnancy and adoption, moving in and out of houses, or maybe even untimely death due to accidents. Now this is different than the previous iteration of this that we got a few months ago. You might recall that update where your sims could start getting calls from neighbors being like, hey, should I have a baby? Hey, should I like be friends with so-and-so? That was like step one of this update, where it only affected the sims that you actually knew. Now, with this update, it'll affect the whole world, and you can change the settings any way you want to your liking. This is the button to configure neighborhood stories for my household, so like the households you're actively playing in, and then this is the one to configure it for all of the other households. You can see it's green because it's on. By default, it's off for like your sims, so like she won't decide to go have a kid without my permission, but everyone else might. And these are all of the options. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you can die in accidents. This does not affect old age death, but your sims could like get eaten by a cow plant or get electrocuted at work. And I guess I shouldn't say your sims because it's like Bella Goth could just randomly die. I am obsessed with this. This is like my favorite part of the whole update. I understand you might not like that and you can turn it off. You can just click it and turn it off. It's very easy to make it stop happening, but I love that. I can't wait. This is the best part, hands down. The sims will also decide maybe to adopt a child. They can adopt cats and dogs dogs if you have the pets pack. They can choose to leave their career. Old sims might choose to retire. They can choose to get pregnant and have a baby. They can choose to move in and out of their lots, and they can choose to get a new job. Now, considering this UI, I wouldn't be surprised if in the future they added on a lot to this. They've sort of implied in the, like, descriptions that this is, like, another part of the update, so hopefully in the future there'll be more options. Like, I bet they'll probably consider, like, dating and marriage in the future. They just did these ones first, which I am totally down for. I am so excited about this, this seriously has made my day, made my life. I didn't think we'd ever get anything like this in The Sims 4, so I am so, so pleased and so excited about this. One of the other interesting parts of this is that you can configure it for different households separately. So this button changes it for like the whole neighborhood, but if you wanted like specifically to make sure that Nancy Landgrab didn't do anything wild, like she didn't die and didn't lose her job, or maybe you don't want Nancy to move, you could turn off moving just for the land grabs if you wanted to. And then obviously if like one of the households is one of your households, they won't be affected by it, but you could turn it on so that they are. You can enable that however you please. It's completely customizable. I'm so glad they did it like this. It's just so cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna load into my save and I'm just gonna start running the game. On this, you can check recent neighborhood stories like on your mailbox and it'll give you like a pop-up. Obviously we haven't started yet, so nothing's happened, but I'm just gonna leave my game running and then hopefully when we come back, there'll be like some new options. For now, I wanna read this article they posted about neighborhood stories. So back in November, we had that first part with like the phone calls and stuff. I can link that article about the first section as well if you want to read it, but this this line here is important. Today I'm excited to update you on the new additions to neighborhood stories as we continue to build upon this feature over time. So it's not done. It's always been presented that way, like it was kind of like here's step one, we're gonna keep adding to it, adding to it, adding to it. This is step two basically. And so in this step two, now you can have life changes for all of the other sims. Neighbor sims in this case means like sims in the world just in general, not just sims like in your neighborhood, but sims in any of the worlds. They're calling all the townies neighbors, basically. So as far as changes go, sims can now adopt young sims, like babies and kids. They can become pregnant, and if you're family-oriented, it's more likely, but if they're non-committal, they're less likely, and if they hate children, they never will have kids, which is pretty cool. I'm glad they, like, thought about that. If you have cats and dogs, they might adopt a cat or a dog. I'm so excited about that option. I'm so glad they can finally do it randomly, because up until now, like, basically only you and the sims in Brindleton Bay had pets, but now they can just choose to get one randomly. Your sims' traits could, like, heavily 
heavily influence their choice to join and leave careers. Your elder sims might choose to retire, they can choose to move lots, and they can die in different kinds of accidents depending on risk factors such as age, traits, and career. That is the coolest thing in the whole world. I'm so excited about this part in particular. And obviously if you don't want any of these things, you can just turn them off individually. You can pick like which ones you want to use and not use. It's not like all or nothing. Then it goes on to like explain how to configure it. We, we did that together already. And it's cool how you can configure it separately for like your Sims and all the other Sims, but also like individually per household. Stop welcome wagon. Sorry, I'm trying to like speed three because <laughs> I want to get neighborhood stories happening. Anyway, it's cool because then you could like maybe want your Sims sister to go off and have kids on her own, but you don't want like your sim to get messed with when you're not playing with their household. So you can separate it. Like I could have like this guy not get changed, but maybe Johnny Zest and his kids do get changed. Does that make sense? Or maybe like I don't want Johnny Zest to die, so I turn it off for him, but I leave it on for everybody else. They're all options that you can configure yourself. And then when you want to see what's going on in the world, you can check recent neighborhood stories on your mailbox like we're trying to do. But they showed a couple really interesting examples on the screenshot, so I want to show it to you. So number one, the Spencer Kim Lewis household adopted a child. Diane over here has died. She was milking it and got too close to a cow plant. And the Spencer Kim Lewis household are preparing to have a baby. So that's like a couple examples of things that could happen in your game. I haven't played with it yet, so I haven't actually seen like all of the options because I've not had a chance to play because I was on a plane when it came out, but we're trying to play now just to see what goes on. It's been like all day. Nothing has happened yet, so maybe tomorrow things will happen. You want to go to sleep? Go to sleep. I want someone to die. <laughs> that's what's important to me. I'm sorry to be so morbid, but like it would be hilarious if like Nancy Landgrab got eaten by a cow plant or something, you know? But anyway, as she's sleeping, seriously, I have never, ever, I think, been more excited for a Sims update. Well, no, toddlers was huge. It's maybe, maybe toddlers, but story progression is such a big deal. This is gonna change like the way the whole game is played. It's gonna make everything seem so much more lively because as of right now, for the most part, like if you want things to continue, you kind of have to make a choice to do it yourself or like use MC Command Center and even then it doesn't always work. But, but like, if you don't want the land grab family to die out, you kind of have to like actively make the land grabs have kids so they don't just die out and, and leave and be gone. But now if they can choose to have more kids, like Malcolm might go on to have kids. Although I guess he can't get married yet, so maybe not. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hopefully in a future update, they'll add like relationships into the section, but there's just so much potential here and considering how big that UI is, it seems like they're preparing to add more things. And they already did the cats and dogs one, which means they might choose to do like other ones from different packs. I don't know, I just look at that and I see so many options for so much fun gameplay. I am so glad they did this and I didn't think it was gonna come out now. Like obviously they had told us they were gonna work on this and we knew it was coming at some point, but I didn't think it was coming like now. I guess it's been a few months, but like I didn't know it was coming this fast. All right, I'm gonna check. Yeah, yeah, like video gaming. I'm gonna check the recent neighborhood stories. What do we got? Ooh, the Chopra household moved into Glimmerbrook. Wait, okay, pop off. The mayor of Henford on Bagley has now moved into Glimmerbrook. <laughs> but that family by default doesn't have a house. They just like exist in the world. So they chose to move. A dog was adopted by the Greenberg household. <gasps> Wait, oh, this is the best part. Hang on. Oh, you can filter by households with default configurations and custom configurations. Oh, that's that's really useful. Oh my god, they adopted two dogs? <gasps> Okay, sorry. The Greenbergs are where Knox and his, his parents live in Evergreen Harbor. They adopted one dog called Dog <laughs> and one dog called Red. Enter breed name. Is that new or is that a glitch? Have you always been able to do that? Have I just never tried? I don't think I've ever tried to do that. <laughs> they adopt, look how cute this one is. I'm so, Dog and Red are quite funny names too. I love this one. This has made my life. Ooh, it's kind of glitchy. Poodle. There you go. That could have always been there and I just didn't know. I don't really bother with the breed stuff that often, so <laughs> that could be like old news. I just want someone to die now and then I'll be happy. Like seeing the dogs and seeing the, the death. Those are my two main goals. Nothing of note has happened recently. Check back tomorrow. Wah, wah, wah. Maybe I'll get a job. <laughs> that would be useful. <gasps> Look, proud new dog owner Francine Spencer is right here. No, I honestly cannot believe how happy that sim adopting a dog has made me. I think it's just because for so long, like, the only Sims that would get pets were you and the people that lived in Brindleton Bay. No one else, like the land grabs never adopted a dog, you know? And so that option finally being there makes the game feel so much more lively. Like we might actually start seeing pets walking around Willow Creek now. We never used to before. And the Sims like having kids and, and like furthering their families is huge. 
huge. I just am so excited about this. Ooh, quick question. Gunther, Munch, and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? This is also part of that update because previously when you got these calls, it wasn't always like super clear if they meant like as friends or romantically. This is pretty clear casual friend time, <laughs> not romantically. So you'll still get these calls, but they're like a little bit updated and you'll only get those calls from people that you actually know. I mean, I wouldn't really call Summer a friend. She kind of hates me, but just your friends will call you like that. Oh, it was Layla, not Summer that called me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, blonde white girl, I got him confused. My bad, that was actually bad of me, I'm sorry. Layla called, not Summer, sorry. One of my friends showed me that they got a notification that Vlad became a babysitter, <laughs> which is fascinating. Like, it's just kind of funny. There's gonna be a lot of funny pop-ups now too that we wouldn't get to see before. Like, I love the idea of Vlad working the babysitter career. That's so dumb. Brittany Cho in the Cho household left her job as a solid storyteller in the comedian career. <gasps> That's big news, she's famous. She got her whole fame being that way. Did she retire? Someone else became an engineer. The Tinker household moved? Where? The Hecking household got another dog? <gasps> oh, we'll have to check that, okay. Someone else moved into Evergreen Harbor, okay, okay. <gasps> Our first pregnancy, okay. Let's check that first. So this is the Sim that quit her job, <laughs> okay. She's one of the famous people from Get Famous. The Hecking's got a new dog. Oh, they already had Rosie, but they got a second dog. I'm sorry for squealing, I'm just excited. Baxter, oh. Oh, you're so big and fluffy. Okay, the breed thing's kind of annoying. Your breed is Baxter now, for all I care. Yeah, these people moved out <laughs> from Evergreen Harbor. The Tinker house that lived there moved somewhere else, but I don't know where they moved to, it didn't say. I will say, now that I'm playing this, I'm not a huge fan of the moving. Like, I kind of would prefer the Sims stay where they are. So when I play, I might turn off the moving. I think, but it's fun to test out. But I don't really want like the land grabs to move, you know, I want them to stay where they are. It's it's more like the unplayed Sims. Like, I don't really care if, like honestly, Brittany Cho doesn't have a house. So if she moves somewhere, which she already would have before the update, I wouldn't care. But I don't want like Judith Ward to change houses because her house is iconic. So I, I might turn off the, the moving in and out thing. Well, actually maybe moving in is fine, but moving out is not, right? Anyway, these people are pregnant, prove it. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't look pregnant. Prove it. Take pregnancy test. Wait, <gasps> she is. Okay, so you have to wait like actually three, four days obviously in game for it actually to be born, but she is pregnant. This is the first time a Sam has autonomously gotten pregnant in my game. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Why does it make me want to cry? I could actually cry. That's so cool. She's pregnant and it's the Sims 4 and I have no mods installed. Anything else for me? Neighborhood stories. Nothing of note has happened recently. Boring. So it seems like three or four things usually happen per day. It's not like anything too wild, which I think is a good number. You don't want like all of the Sims having babies all at once or anything. It's kind of fun to have them spaced out a little bit. No baby booms. No baby booms, please. I think I might play through one more day just to see like what we get. I still want someone to die. <laughs> it's very important to me. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot, shoot, please. Why? Oh my God. Why? Are you kidding me? I'm trying to test something. Thing. Why? <laughs> oh, vampires. Okay. Thank you, Vlad. It's good to see you. A child was adopted by the Landgrab household? <gasps> no, that's big. And the Jang household also adopted somebody? <laughs> okay. There's another Landgrab? Oh my god, look! Philip Landgrab! Honestly, very appropriate name. Philip, it works. And the Jang household too. Johnny Jang! I like that name as well. This is so fun! Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm getting too excited. I think I want to try one last thing. I want to turn off everything but dying in accidents. Just just to see what happens, okay? Maybe that will make it more likely. <laughs> I think some final thoughts as we're doing this. Obviously, I love this. I'm not sure about the moving out. I still might keep that turned off because I don't want like the land grabs to move and I also don't want to have to like individually turn off every household. So I might just like leave the moving out thing. I look forward to getting hopefully some future updates because I would love to see like relationships changing, like people getting married and divorced and engaged and all that stuff. Super happy about the babies. I'm so glad they can actually like adopt kids and have kids. The career stuff is kind of cool too. It's fun to have them like making their own choices. All in all, I don't have much bad to say about this. Like I am really, really happy. And honestly, I just want to see more. Oh my God, best please <laughs> leave me alone. I wonder what time it becomes tomorrow. 
when you can check back. <laughs> I think like maybe like 5, 6 a.m. it might work. I'm gonna keep checking. A baby was adopted by the land grabs? They've got two more kids? Oh my gosh. A toddler was adopted? Wait. Oh no, I turned off everything for everyone but the land grabs because I messed with the land grabs individually. Oh no, they've got three more kids. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well as she's just, you know, waiting for work to start, they did also add a bunch of new scenarios to the game, a bunch of permanent new scenarios. Too many toddlers is back. We've got the new super rich super villain scenario, the unlucky chef scenario, the troublemaker scenario, the extraterrestrial research scenario, the rom-com scenario, and the no skills no problem scenario. All new. And they actually have difficulties now. So you know how I always complain about how scenarios are like too easy and I want like harder scenarios for my sims to play? Well in this update they added a difficulty like rating on there which sort of leads me to believe they're gonna start adding more difficult scenarios. I feel like my feedback has been heard on that so I'm really pleased. <laughs> and you know what? I like the scenarios. I do. They're fun. So I'm, I'm glad to see some extra ones. You know if a sim could just get struck by lightning and die in this storm that would be great. The storm's gone. Has my stuff come back? Nancy and Jeffrey are also pregnant? Oh my god. Are they trying to fill up the entire household? <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Okay so it seems like the death is actually pretty rare and also because I made it so no one else could do anything except I just exited to main menu without saving. I meant to go to manage worlds. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I was gonna say because I made it so that like no one else could do anything except die, but Nancy and Jeffrey had custom settings to not move. They were just going wild. <laughs> they, they got like five more kids now. I don't think that's normal or intended. Like I don't think that would have happened if I hadn't like messed with my settings in a weird way so that only Nancy and Jeffrey could do anything and everyone else could only die. But it's possible that might need to be tuned. I haven't heard anybody else say they're having like Sims have too many kids though. So I think that like I just mess with things in a weird way that caused that to happen and it's not like a common glitch. But tell me in the comments if you're seeing that happen too because then we can talk about it. Overall, Sims team, you have made my life. I am so excited about this. This truly is so cool. I never thought you would do it in The Sims 4. I really am impressed. It's just been so long that we've like not had a thing like this. I just didn't see it coming to The Sims 4. I was sitting here like maybe The Sims 5 will come with story progression. I, I didn't think we'd get it. So I'm completely in awe and I love The Sims. I'm so happy. I'm gonna link all of The Sims like official blog posts explaining all the new things like the scenarios, the first neighborhood stories, the new neighborhood stories, like all of that I'll link down below for you if you want to read them and, and stay caught up. It kind of helps to read the official blogs because it gives good info like from the people who made it, you know? But also this update is out now, like everybody has this. So go and play, like tell me what happens to your sims. I'm so curious to hear about it. I look forward to your sims, you know, being eaten by cow plants and whatnot. Also tomorrow on my Twitch channel, that's just Lil Simsy, same as YouTube, but on Twitch, I'm gonna play some sims gameplay and hopefully see some wild things happen. So if you want to drop in, I'll have that link down below too. I stream Sims like every day on Twitch. So if you like The Sims 4 and you like me, I mean, <laughs> I've got that link too. That was a really bad, bad plug, but I tried. And with that, I'll stop rambling at you now. I'm gonna go, have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I'm just so happy. This is the best, most exciting day. I can't believe they did it. I can't believe they finally did it. And they're probably gonna keep adding more. That's the best part. It's not even done.